Hi, I'm Bobby Lee from Square. Today we're going to create an invoice, publish it, and explore the customer experience by paying for the invoice. To start this off, I'm going to first show you the Invoice API sample app. I already went ahead and cloned the app locally, so I'm just going to run npm seed to quickly populate my Sandbox store's customers. So here are my Sandbox customers. And when I click on the first one, I can see it has a card on file and an itemized list of services. I'm going to click Create Invoice with Card on File to see the drafted invoice, and then Publish to schedule it. If you want to see the list of invoices for this customer, just click back on the left, and you'll see all of them listed here at the bottom. So now let's dig in to some of these requests in API Explorer. First click on Select API to find customers, and then the Create Customer Endpoint to create a customer profile. Click Access Token and select an app, and then fill in a random valid email, family, and given name, and click Run. Okay, now copy and save that customer ID from the response on the right, because we'll need it in a minute. Now I'm going to show you a basic example of an invoice that requests one payment for the full order amount. Let's head back to API Explorer to create the order we'll add to the invoice. Let's create an order for a $30 dog walking service. So select the orders API from the dropdown, and then it should default to the create order endpoint. The access token will stick from our earlier request. Then generate a new item potency key, and you'll also need to add the location ID. To find that, we'll go back to the developer dashboard. Select the app we're working in and grab the locations ID here. Now paste that back into the Explorer. Next, we'll add the customer ID from earlier and a line item which needs a quantity and base price money. Be sure to set the amount in cents and we'll use USD since that's where our store is based. And lastly, a name from the line item. How about Thursday Dog Walk? and then scroll up and click Run. And let's save the order ID from the response. Now that we have an order, let's make an invoice for it. Click Invoices API and then Create Invoice. Then fill in the location ID and order ID we used earlier. Click Payment Requests and fill in a due date for any day in the future. I'll use 2021 10 12. Next, you'll want to choose a request method. And there are three options. Email means that Square will automatically send an email to the customer with a link to the invoice, either upon publishing or at a scheduled time. If we were to publish the invoice in production, Square will send an email like this to both the seller and the customer. Next option, if you select charge card on file, you can automatically charge a customer's card and a paid invoice will be sent to the customer upon publishing the invoice. Something to note, if you wanna charge a card on file, you need to provide a customer's card ID. And lastly, you can select the Share Manually option. Use this option if you want to share the public URL with the customer your own way. For example, in a custom email template or via SMS. Let's go with Share Manually since we're just testing things out. For request type, we're going to choose Balance because we're paying the invoice in full today. Next, we'll add the customer ID from earlier. And that's it. Now hit Run. And awesome, a 200 response. Now let's review the invoice on the Sandbox dashboard. So tab over to our developer dashboard and go back to the main page and scroll down to the default test account open button. Wait for it to load. Then click invoices on the left. And look, here's our invoice for $30. Now that we've successfully created the draft invoice, we're ready to publish it. Head back to the API Explorer. Copy this invoice ID and version number and click Publish Invoice. Paste in that ID here, add the version number. The invoice version number changes each time the invoice is updated, so you must add it here. Now let's run the request. By publishing the invoice, you can see in the response that the status field here changes from draft to unpaid. The public URL field added is the URL to the Square hosted invoice page, where the customer can go to pay. Alternatively, sellers can process a payment for an invoice in the seller dashboard, through the Square Point of Sale, or the Invoices mobile app. Then look for the next payment amount money field added. Because this walkthrough requests only one payment, it shows the full amount due for this invoice, $30. If you want to send installments over time, the field shows the amount due next based on the schedule. The total of all overdue payments will be reflected on the next invoice. Let's see what happens when a payment is submitted via the Square hosted invoice page. So let's copy and open up the public URL return in the response here. 
This is also what customers would see when they click the pay button in the invoice email. And let's use the sandbox provided test credit card information, which we've linked below. So you can fill in a random name, then four in the rest ones, some date in the future, CVV is 111, and zip can just be random, so one, two, three, four, five. Now click pay to submit the payment. You can also navigate back to your sandbox dashboard and refresh the page to see the invoice is now labeled as paid. And that's it. Let's recap what we just accomplished. First, I demonstrated the invoices sample app, and then we went into API Explorer and created a customer, then created an order for a $30 dog walking service and invoiced that customer. And to finish it up, we published that invoice and we pretended to be the customer by going to the public URL to pay it. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're now way more familiar with how to use our invoices API. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding.